104th Annual General Assembly. Notes, Wednesday, July 20th. The Chief Overseer began with his continued delight over the youth presentations of the material after the additional bands presented, Durham, Crystal River, Chicago, Sandusky. He also commented on the beautiful service that took place last night. He reminded the parents to prepare the children for tarrying service. He also expressed concern over us allowing visitors to come in with foreign commentary. Last night, as the speaker began on his platform, that was a visitor. It is time for uh, the old to step down and out of the way. The reason the youth have fallen is because we, as elders, have not properly prepared them to lead them. The chief overseer states, Let me say that I hope that the visitor went away thinking, This old man got upset because I told them that the old need to get out of the way. First John 2.14 We need the strength of the young men, but the old should not be discredited. Matthew 24 and 15 was read. Verse 23 and 25 was then read. Now you have to learn how to get the message. They may tell you things, but there shall rise false Christ with false prophets. They have come and said, Bring me your pocketbooks. Young ladies, watch that. I have already told you that these things will come into the world. If I have been invited to your home or into your church, I would have looked at the theme and would have tried to say something on the theme instead of something you don't know. If someone invites you into their church, you ought to know how to behave yourself. The first thing, go to your Bible and get relative scriptures. Secondly, know when to sit down, but I don't know you. Then Elder Lockhart went to give him the signal, but the visitor ignored. I appreciate what Elder Ward did on his history. He touched on something very key, the split. Sometimes it may be hard or you may get angry, but your time will come around. Be respectful if you go into someone's house. Get permission. And when they give you a little space, don't take it over. You don't know you're half cut in two. The dirt doublet, the bee told him, you can't make honey like I can. He said, I know, I know, I know, I know. But the bee said, but you don't know you half cut in two. Please take time to learn the history of the church. I want the presenters to ask questions. And when this is materials being taught in your local bands, I would probably get a sign-up sheet or something like that. Minister Anthony Lockhart and his family walked in to the assembly. He interjected with thanks to the Lord for bringing them here safely after they were involved in a car accident, but there was minimal damage that was done. Carry the General Assembly information back to your local band. As mentioned before, only preachers were allowed to attend the General Assembly. Matthew 28 and 7 was read. Understand that we have the materials and the information which is, t which is the teaching uh, which is incumbent upon the leader. Don't you think this is easily done? It takes practice and practice and practice. God wakes me up early in the morning of hours to do the business work of the church. And there is also the spiritual too. It's all in your minister's guide. Items to discuss in the general assembly. I want to ask the question, did you call me? How many times have you called me since the last general assembly? Now put that down and keep a law. If you call me, I will ask you if you call to ask me, tell me, or teach me something. If you can call, if you call to ask me something, then go in telling me what you want to know, and I will hang up. Three things return not time back time. Three things return not back: time lost, arrow sped, and the spoken word. If you wonder why you have not sat up here in the bishopric. It is because your mouth has separated you. Understand this. Just because I am pro me doesn't mean that I am anti you. But remember that this is the field that I am responsible for and have been assigned to. I told you on the other day, don't let your children and grands send you to hell. Leadership is a lonely position. You can't afford to get friendly because they tend uh, to begin to tell you what they ought to be or the way they will do things. Now. Pray for me that I will be able to carry out the things that they should be. I am not telling what Meharry think, Lewis thinks, but what the laws of this church are. I told you three things return not back. We don't live by cliches. These are axioms. An axiom is that which has been proven to be true. I also talked about rebellion. First Samuel 15, 22 through 24 was read. People don't think that rebellion is not a sin. Rebellion is just like witchcraft. And stubbornness is as idolatry. This is the word that comes through the prophet. Acts 9 and 5 were read. was read. Someone is still wrestling with the fact that they ought to be here in the pulpit. They think that fornication is only sin. It is the only sin. If you read the Bible, I read rebellion is up there in the top sins. Those leaders of the team, you need to come up and see me. You need to... 
see all the material there. We need a headquarters to house all this material. Bishop Lewis and Bishop Hartwood wrote me to explain their absence from this year's General Assembly. I also understand that their spouses had to stay home to help them. He read the letter. Dr. Lewis read the letter he wrote to Bishop Hardwick in response to him reporting that he will not be there and expressed that in the letter he is consoled that his works has already gone up and that he hopes that God would count his works in his righteousness. Now, I have responded to those who have expressed to me their inability to attend the General Assembly. This is not done haphazardly. I am legally responsible for documents such as these. He referenced the previous potential lawsuit the church faced. I have to know how to lead God's house. When I come up against persecution, I will say I take the fifth. That is Matthew chapter 5. Blessed are those who are persecuted. Those who are aspiring to do this should start now and learning how to do the same. Now, this is temporal, time and place directed, youth related issues, pro-choice. Women may have rights, choice to decide whether we want to have abortion or not, and right to life. You don't have a right to destroy any life. The writer of this book, who had experienced two abortions, found the Lord and proclaimed that he had forgiven her. She said, I know now that I will see my children in heaven. You better know your Bible and not say amen to everything. My Bible, as a matter of fact, says the opposite. When you make a mistake, you have to live with it, but not to get yourself in a predicament. I want to tell you, young people, about the facts of life. Don't think that these things cannot happen to you. The best is to stay out of the path. Arthur Ashe wrote about his first experience with sex. Boys can be raped by women, just as girls can be raped. Paucity. Sometimes God gives us the message in a few words. Just a few words, but there is an eternity in a few words, written on the wall to the king that Daniel had to interpret. Waiting, waiting, lacking. When God brings something to you and you don't feel it to be a message the Lord has given you, You've got to go study. If you are worth a grain of salt, you will write it down. History is good, but you have to, to know the word of God. We are not under circumcision, in reference to the visitor last night who was given the opportunity to speak. We are under Jesus Christ, who made the word flesh. Did you know that tall people command more respect than short people? You let a tall, slender person walk in here, whether they are knowing anything or not. But short people oftentimes get overlooked. To continue the lecture in the series, Walk in Light. The sun is 93 million miles from Earth. The axis is closest to the sun around the poles. The eye acts as a prism. The rainbow acts as a prism. But in seeing clearly, what do you see? Some people are walking in darkness and can't see anything, but they want to stay there. More review of yesterday's presentation slides. Follow me. Auditory blindness is the same as being deaf, but God provides a way. When one of our senses is dull, he usually strengthens the other. Now these types of blindness are in the physical world. We haven't gotten to the spiritual world. He also spoke on spiritual blindness, which is sin. Lessons taught by Jesus. If you do good things, you want everyone to see it. If you do bad things, you don't want them to be exposed. Rejoice in the light. I rejoice in the light of Elder Price, who proclaimed that when they came into the church, they were determined to do the things they need to be done. The same as for Deacon Dean and Bishop Hardwood. The light of the life gives us the ability for Christ to energize us. If we don't have that life, we are as dead souls. What lesson did we learn from the counsel that Jesus gave to us? Let's go to St. John. See the slide or didactic lessons. Jesus said, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Are there not 12 hours in the day? But if a man walk at night, he stumbleth. Young ladies, watch. When you have been brought up in the church and you are clean, they will try to pull you away from what you have been taught. If your eye is single, your eyes focus. There are those who read the same thing you read, but they don't see or understand it. Sometimes darkness is purposeful. Some like to stay out of the limelight. There are some areas of the stage, the spotlight, the shadows, and the limelight. The limelighters are those who want to be seen only when they want to be seen. The spotlighters are those who get the credit, the blame, and the criticism. The shadowers are the saints who don't want to be seen, only heard. Those who want to stay back but tell everyone everything they feel they need to know. Read 1 Timothy 3.15. Read The Beauty of Holiness, written by your own church officers. There is a street called Straight. The first holiness productive preachers, women, when you are approached by those who don't believe in women preachers. There is also the vision book. It sets everything in order. This completes the Chief Overseer Lecture Series. There was no series on Thursday or Friday.